Okay, hey Jefferson students. It is so good to see you. I hope you had a great week last week. This week I have a video from myself for you to do at home for your Phi Ed assignment. Okay, we are going to be doing underhand tossing just like we did a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so I want to remind you, when you are underhand tossing, find something at home that you can throw. I have a tennis ball, or I even rolled up a sock. If you have a pillow or something else that's soft too, you can use that, okay? So when you're underhand tossing, you're gonna hold the ball with your dominant hand. So hold it with the hand that is the strongest, okay? Then you bring it back. As you bring back that arm, step forward with your opposite leg and let go, okay? If you, so that's how it look with my right hand. See, I step forward with my opposite foot and I bring it forward with my right hand because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, this is how it would look. Step forward with your opposite leg, bring back that arm and bring your hand up to let go. All right? So this So I want to review with you, when we underhand toss, we're going to toss the ball when our arm goes underneath our shoulder. If we were doing an, an overhand toss, we would be tossing like this, where our hand would go over our shoulder. But this week, we're going to have our hand go under, okay? So... So I'm at home, so I might use a laundry basket as a target. I might use maybe a blanket. I might put a blanket on the ground and try to get my ball onto the blanket. Whatever you have at home, you can use, but maybe ask a grown-up first to see if it's okay, because we don't want anything getting hurt or damaged. This week, your assignment is to underhand toss with your dominant hand. So that might be your right hand or that might be your left hand. I want you to do that at least 10 times, okay? So I want you to try. You can aim for maybe a laundry basket or you can put a blanket down on the ground and aim for that for your ball or your sock or your pillow to land on. So first, I want you to do it with your stronger arm. Then I want you to do it at least 10 times with your other hand too. So you get to practice both sides. And I would really like it if you would take a video of yourself doing the activity and doing the underhand tossing and then send that to me back on Seesaw so I can see. All right, have fun everybody